Who doesn't love eight, nine-week-old puppies? They're just full of life. They're friendly. They can't wait to get attention. They're playful. They're curious. That inquisitive nature of them makes them very comical at times. Um, but they're also a lot of work. Hi, I'm Janice Jones, and I am a dog breeder, um, a Shih Tzu dog breeder in Ohio. And today, this video is going to talk a little bit about how, as a breeder, I get the puppies ready to go to their forever homes. Uh, we've been working with them since day one, since the minute they were born. But now it comes down to the time when it's, it's ready, when they're ready to go to their new home. And this is an exciting time for them, a little nerve wracking. Perhaps for us, um, I'm sure the new owners are just can't wait to come and pick up their new puppy. But before they can do that, we have to make sure that, first of all, that they have their requisite uh, vaccinations, make sure all their warmings are done. And I also do like to microchip them if the owners uh, are going to agree to this. We do not register the microchips. That will be the responsibility of the new owners, but they're a fool not to because if that puppy gets away from them, this is an easy way to find their way back home. And who wants to lose a puppy after waiting for so long and spending the money to purchase a AKC registered um, purebred puppy? So let's get started. So now is time to go visit the vet and get their first checkup. They're surely healthy puppies, but you never know. That's why I always like to have the vet check them out. All right, guys, are you ready to go see the vets? Okay, we're gonna have to close you up in there. Luckily, I have a vet that lives across the street, so we're not gonna go by car. We're gonna go by stroller. Hello again. So now the next thing we're going to do is microchipping. And this is really important. I do recommend it for all dogs to get microchipped because you just never know when they could get lost or stolen. And the last thing you want to do is lose your little fur baby. So I recommend um, microchipping all my puppies. I myself use the AKC Reunite, which um, I offer to puppy buyers if they would like to have it. And they're still responsible for registering their chip online, but I will provide the chip and all the paperwork that they need in order to be able to do so. And the one interesting thing about this first microchip is that I purchased a brand new um, set of 25 microchips from AKC because they told me that the needle was not so huge. That's my biggest complaint about microchips. I think a normal microchip uses like a 16 gauge needle and that's, that's a huge needle. So I thought it would be interesting to compare the two. And I've got one, uh, one of my older needles, which I'll open and show you, just so you know how big this needle is. I don't know if you can see it too well, but this is one big needle. That's the old version. And then the newer version is supposed to have a smaller gauge needle. It's still big, but not anywhere near as big. Not so bad. So what I will be doing is provide, uh, inserting the microchip and using my handy dandy scanner here to make sure that it's been placed in place and then give them all the information they need and include the scans. And um, then they also get something from AKC too that gives them all the information on how to register. You can either mail it in or you can do it online. It's quite simple to do online. So that's what I'm gonna be doing next. 
okay, Tibbet. We don't need to eat the microchip. This is just going to go into you, okay? I'm going to put it right back here. <gasps> Good boy. Good boy. Okay, let's see now if it shows up. Oh, oh, don't go away yet. Okay, there's the number. Okay, let's just make sure this has, oh, it does have a number in it. It does have a chip, so we're ready to go. Okay. Little Rio, let's see how good you do. Oh my goodness, what a good girl. Let me make sure we got the chip in. Ready? There we go. Can you see it? Perfect, all right. One more to go. Okay, Ginger, you're the last puppy. Let's see how well you do. It's gonna be a little prick right between the, the shoulder blades. Oh my goodness, three in a row. Absolutely amazing puppies. Let's scan you. Oh, it's still baby. There we go. And we are all set to go. Three amazing little puppies. But I'm gonna tell you my secret in just a second. Okay, so there was a little trick to that. I was pretty amazed that these three puppies didn't cry at all, but there was something that I wanted to let you know. It's a little secret that my vet taught me when I first started doing this, because I can't stand to hear the puppies cry. He said that if you lift the, head, uh, the skin over top of the needle and push the skin into the needle versus jabbing the needle into the skin, they won't cry. And he was right. Okay, so these poor puppies have to get stuck again, but this time it's just for their first set of shots. And what we're gonna be doing is giving them a five-in-one set of shots for the canine distemper, the adenovirus type two, and parainfluenza, and then of course the parvo. Okay, Rio, are you ready for this? One last stick. I know, you give such good kisses. What a good girl. What a good girl she is. She doesn't mind shots at all. Okay, Ginger, last stick of the day. Are you ready for this? Just a little bit of a vaccine to protect your little body. What a good girl she is. It's my ginger. Tibbet's turn. Just a little stick. Oh, you're such a good boy. You are a good boy. And that's it. Get a little neck massage. Nothing like a couple of shots to tire a whole bunch of puppies out. I don't see this very often, so I wanted you all to know they do sleep, just not very often. Hello, puppies. I heard you crying in here, so I wanted to find out what's going on. And I can tell you're bored and you want some attention. But most of all, you want out of that area. 
So give me a second and we'll go play. No, no, don't, don't go to the wall. <laughs> 